All right, so this was the week of 5-9 through 5-14 for my training. Uh, so this is the week where I was going from five to four weeks out of my meet prep. So I'm officially about one month out of the next meet that I'm going to be doing on June 11th. Um, so this one was going to be a lighter squat and a heavier deadlift week. We are finally starting to push some of the bench a little bit more. And I'm finally getting to the point where I'm actually lifting some loads that are feeling like work on bench which is great because now I can finally feel like I'm going to start to push again. And I do feel like I'm really on track for a nice little bench PR. So <clears throat> with this week being a lighter squat week, the first week was going to be fairly e easy. Uh, the sets of squats that I was supposed to do, they felt terrible. They looked terrible. I went and hit the very, very low end of the range at 407. Um, so they just did not feel very good. And again, this is one of those things where because this was a lighter squat week, I was not looking to make them feel very hard and I was not looking to, to make this, make it very heavy. So I was just very happy to, with the fact that I was just getting this done again. This is more of a practice day than anything else. So I'm not actually looking for, um, a tremendous amount of carryover to the heavier day because again, the heavier day this week was quite light. So I'm looking for just grooving the pattern in and making sure squats are moving the way that I want them to. I have plenty of leg accessory work to build up some hypertrophy and build up a little bit more like specific strength in the quads, adductors and glutes without actually having to worry about just getting the squats done. And particularly given the fact that most of my issue with squatting is confidence related, I ended up going up to 424 on the last one and this moved significantly better. Um, this ended up actually being the best set out of all of them. Uh, but again, since my, my squat is much more of a confidence-related issue, I am happy getting any wins that I can get in, in, so I can continue to progress and make sure that I'm getting heavier each time. Uh, then I hit some heavy pull-downs, some single-arm dumbbell rows, and some hip work. And some upper back, because we got an upper back machine now. So I'm doing some wider grip upper back rows to work more on the mid-back, posterior delts, and rhomboids. And just like the traps in general. Bench day the following day was fantastic. I ended up working up to a 402 pound, a 402 pound bench. Uh, this is the first time I've been over 400 pounds since I tore my pec uh, nine weeks ago, nine weeks ago, nine weeks ago, something like that. Um, but it's the first time I've been up there since then. One of the things I'm looking at with this is I'm not at all happy with the pause, right? So you can see that it doesn't really ever come to a complete stop. It continues to sink and the bar continues to move around. So I would not get a press command here. It would have to come to a complete and total stop for me to be able to get this press command. Uh, but then the press itself was quite easy and it felt like I had another rep in there very, very, very easily, which would have been great. Um, so this week what I'm going to look at doing is I'm going to look at cleaning up the pause a little bit more as I take a smaller jump on bench. Um, now that I'm, I'm starting to feel really good about it, I want to make sure that I'm going to clean up the eccentric a little bit. So control that a little bit more, get a better pause in there, and then, you know, continue to press the same way that it was. I was, however, very happy with my back offsets, right? So my back offsets, I had some heavy triples where my goal was to push and see if I can get 374 for a triple, which I accomplished. So my back offsets moved quite well. First set at 352 was very good. Second set at 363, also moved fantastically well. I'm very happy with how this went. One of the things that I, I noticed with myself is sometimes my second rep will be harder and then my leg drive will kind of kick in a little bit more and my third rep will be a little bit easier. That is very, very evident on 374. Um, so for 374 for a triple, had an easy rep, a little harder of a rep, and a little bit faster and more consistent of a rep. So it wasn't really necessarily faster but it was more consistent and a little smoother so I'm very happy with how this went felt like I had another rep in the tank on there pretty easily which would have matched my lifetime PR set of four so I'm feeling like I'm in a really good spot to continue the remainder of prep and push something a little bit heavier uh, incline dumbbell bench costal pec press and everything else went great got a great pump on those ones um, squat day main squat day I ended up moving this to Wednesday instead of Thursday I had some plans on Thursday that I needed to take care of. So I moved this up a day earlier. And this was, you know, so it was it was closer to my uh, secondary squat day, which again, the stimulus was still light. It probably doesn't even matter. So there's definitely no impact from that one. Um, it just wasn't a day that felt very good and nothing about it felt very good. So I ended up working up to a 507 pound squat single, which looked a whole lot harder than it should have been. This looked actually significantly worse and harder and slower than the 540 I hit last week building up to the 584 squat PR that I'd hit. So again, one of those things that happens with this is 
Um, I feel like at a certain both age, height, size, muscle mass, whatever, um, there are definitely many qualifications that would go into this. But at a certain point, lifters are just not going to be able to uh, linearly progress anymore, and they're going to have to have a little bit more of an undulating approach. Um, given the fact that my sleep has been very inconsistent lately, I respond really, really, really well to this this undulating approach of training because it just gives me the ability to push when I need to push and take a take a little bit off when I need to take a little bit off. Um, but what are the, one of the other big benefits that it gives me is it also gives me the ability to only focus on one thing per week. And now that's important for me and that's important for a lot of lifters who do not compete in a federation that has multiple platforms because you're going to have a lot of time in between movements, right? So my next meet will probably start at 8 or 9 in the morning and it probably won't be over until about 7 p.m. Um, so I'm going to have a tremendous amount of time between squats and deadlifts. So what I would like to be able to do is not feel like I'm ever rushing and having everything ca- like like taxed in or like not taxed in, but rushing and having everything kind of like compressed and feeling to the point where I'm fatigued for anything in particular because I'm going to have two full meals in my stomach by the time that the uh, deadlifts come around and it's going to have been multiple hours since I squatted. So I'm going to be getting closer to fresh again by the time it's time to go. Um, so then I moved on to some back offsets. Back offs went significantly better than the top set did. Um, I went for my first set at 451 for a triple. Moved about the same as my 507 did, which just confirms that I was just probably a little bit fatigued going into the day. Um, nothing negative about it. It's just, you know, sometimes it just be like that. Then my second back off triple was with 474. And again, this one moved better than 507 did. First rep was great. I kind of misgrooved the second rep a little bit. So you can see I kind of hipped out and like shot out a little bit. I shake my head just to kind of recollect myself and then go and hit the third rep, which was much better than the first and the second one. So I'm very happy with how that went. Um, then my secondary bench day went fine. I ended up hitting 340 for, uh, 330 for a set of top set of four. I had a set of 10, uh, two sets of eight, two sets of six, and then one set of four. So I went 275 for 10, 286 for eight, 297 for eight, 308 for six, 319 for six, and then 330 for four. Um, all of those were fine. I didn't record. I didn't record them. Well, I did record them, but I didn't upload them into the app because it's just like a relatively low day. Um, and the, I was very, very excited for this one. So moving into my big deadlift day, um, I ended up hitting a huge deadlift PR at 750 and it felt like a legitimate RPE eight and a half. So I felt like I had at least one more rep in reserve. So if we look at how this moved, I was extremely happy with how this went, particularly given the fact that I tweaked my left lat on a warm up set with 661. And my left hand is my underhand, right? So I tweaked that going into this. So I was a little concerned that it was going to even feel a little funky, but I was very happy with how I pulled slack out of the bar. Like I got very tight in, had a really good amount of quad drive off the floor, was extremely happy with my position here, maintained that per- pretty well, and then had a nice strong lockout, held it, and then got rid of it. So it's one of those ones where like I'm very, very happy with how this lift moved. Um, if I didn't tweak my lat moving into this, I probably would have gone up to 771. Uh, but now I can go 777 to 782 for my final heavy pull of, the pre- of prep in two weeks before we start to, pay, uh, before we start to taper. Then I had my two down sets at 595. They were very easy. Hit a bunch of lower body focus accessories. Had a nice drop set on this one where I had 8, 8, 8, 8. That was really hard. Um, and some time rest on the leg curl, time rest on the 45 degree extension, time rest on the preacher curl, and then some arms. All in all, it was a great training week. Uh, this coming week, I'm moving up to a heavy squat. So I'm looking at hitting another big squat PR this week. Um, and yeah, follow along if you guys want to keep seeing it.